My eldest son is currently about an eighth of an inch shorter than me and at the rate he's growing by the time this video is published he'll probably be another inch taller than me. There's something significant about that and he knows it. He's getting ready to take on responsibility, make his own decisions, pursue his own goals, leave home and build a life for himself elsewhere, just like I did. Being a father is always to be in transition. Once you're a, a pram pusher, then you're a shoulder carrier, then you're a touchline supporter, then you're the law enforcement officer, then you're the financial backer, and always, always the taxi driver. Until the day when they drive you home from the pub. I'm still learning what it means to be a father to my family, and just like I'm still working out what it means to be a son to my father as we both grow older. It always puzzled me when I read what Jesus says about the word father. In Matthew 23 verse 9, Jesus says, Do not call anyone on earth father, for you have one father, and he is in heaven. Well, the passage is not about not calling anyone rabbi, father, or instructor, so it's mainly about authority. But the explanation that Jesus gives seems broader than that, more general. You only have one father, and he is in heaven. Well, how does that fit with my calling my own dad my father? Well, Paul describes Jesus as being the firstborn among many brothers and sisters in Romans 8. And in Hebrews 2, it says pretty much the same thing. In, in chapter 2, he says, Both the one who makes people holy and those who are made holy are of the same family. So Jesus is not ashamed to call them brothers and sisters. So in the new creation then, Christians are all brothers and sisters with Christ. And so are also brothers and sisters with each other. And we all have God as our Father. This has profound implications for us as Christian fathers. Our job is to bring up our children so that they become our brothers and sisters in Christ. The role of human father is temporary. It's given as a divine gift for the benefit of bringing up our children in a loving and nurturing family. The responsibility for being a father is to prepare our children to be our brothers and sisters in Christ and for them to join us and the Lord Jesus in calling God our Father in heaven. It is about helping our sons to become brothers and our daughters to become our sisters. So for me, the best gift for Father's Day is to be able to call both my sons and my dad my brothers in Christ, and for us all to call God our Father who art in heaven.